Hey folks, this is Sol with what I hope to be is a helpful and in-depth add-on video. Today we're featuring Global Ignore List with a focus on how to filter out uh, hopefully like 90-something percent of the advertisements you see in chats so you can focus on you know, riveting conversation or uh, or silence. So for your convenience, a link to the add-on is in the description as well as the filter that, uh, that that I wrote. So you can copy and paste it in case you're just here for the information. So, you know, don't forget to at least smash that like button as thanks, because that's really helpful. Uh, for the rest of you, I'm going to teach you how to fish, so to speak. That way you can adjust your filters if you happen to still see spam or you find that you're filtering too much stuff. So let's get started by first downloading Global Ignore List. So like I said, you can check the link in the description or you can use your favorite add-on manager to pick it up. And I'll wait. Okay, I'm done waiting. Now that you have it installed, you can press uh, the social button uh, right over here above your chat. My UI is very big. I, made, I did that on purpose. Um, or you can type uh, slash G-I-L space G-U-I and boom to open this up. Now down here, you can click on the spam filters. I already have it there and you'll see a bunch of these named default filters that are marked on or off. So we're gonna look at the anal one first, <laughs> which is the first time that I ever expected to say something like that. Um, and also keep in mind that this is a third party add-on and add-ons have their quirks. So you need to highlight the filter and then click it again to actually open it. You can't just uh, click and then have it open. You have to select it and then click it again, uh, just in case you think the add-on is being responsive. So here are, new, uh, here are a few notable things though. Uh, the description right over here, that's for your benefit so you can identify what the actual filter is. Uh, the active uh, checkbox right over here is just to verify that you have this thing up and running and, and active. And you can see, hey, this filter blocked uh, 10 spammers so far, whoop de doo The filter is where all the magic happens. It's defined by strings and conditions so that we filter out what we don't want, but not too much. Uh, in this example, the filter wants us to uh, filter out uh, the words anal and anal n, whatever that is, and you know, this is a conditioning thing. It has to have these and to include a link or a set number of words. So let's test this thing out. Uh, right down here in the filter testing box, we can type in, you know, whatever, and then hit the test button and see if this works. It says that it passed, which means that whatever, you know, this filter will not filter that particular phrase out. Uh, so let's actually do a real test. We'll put in A and N A L, uh, and then we'll uh, add in uh, some ability like that, and then we'll see if this works. And hey, there we go. It actually filtered this thing out. And then one, and we'll do one more sort of tests. Uh, have you considered an anal exam? Question mark. Very awkward, but you know, safe message. And yeah, this one happened to pass too. So it's meant to just filter out uh, obvious offensive things as you define it. So that's kind of the quick uh, primer on how that works. Let's go ahead and hit cancel and get back here. So now we can kind of look at this with a fresher set of eyes. So you can see that the filters have blocked out a total of 568 spam line sorts of dealies. And who knows, maybe throughout this video, we'll see uh, this number go up uh, by a little bit. Let's, let's see if I remember. So the default filters, uh, they're all the named ones right here. And the ones that are down here, these are, you know, these are ones that are just uh, marked new. Uh, the filters that are on right up here, I left them alone. So for the most part, I don't see anal spam. I don't see uh, these Thunder Fury links. I don't see uh, some of these gold sales and some other stuff. But as I click on these uh, default filters, uh, you can see that they haven't really done much of anything. They're not doing uh, that great of a job. Like, ooh, six, that's that's great. And there are other filters here, ones that uh, can uh, you know filter out all of the sales or it can filter out uh, politics or uh, guild spam, things like that. And these are off by default. So you can you know do with these as you will. 
So now let's take a look at the filters that I've made. And if you want to do any of these edits, I suggest you use something like Notepad or something similar because editing directly in WoW can be kind of a pain. Uh, first is this right, right here, the filtering of the word funnel and just the word funnel. Now this has caught a good bit of spam. It caught 92 uh, so far, but while the word funnel has a pretty clear connotation in the World of Warcraft chats, I'm sort of running the risk of filtering out actual conversation in trade chat or whatever that, you know, maybe it's a conversation about funneling and uh, this might filter out too much and maybe I should turn this off. In this case though, I'm, I'm not going to. So let's move on uh, to an easy one right over here. Filtering out uh, Huocan or Hucan, or I, I don't know how it's supposed to be pronounced. Uh, this one gets used quite a bit. However, I found that there are sort of ways for spammers to bypass uh, this particular filter and I haven't entirely figured out how, uh, but this one just catches low hanging fruit. This one is going to stay on. But now let's take a look at the big custom filter that I made. Boom, kind of big. And again, I'm going to have a, a copy of this available for you in the description. So it's separated into two parts. The first one is here where the initial message has to, com uh, has to contain either the phrases WTS, sell, or gold, and it needs to, conclude, it needs to uh, include any of these phrases here. So we're looking at mythic, heroic, uh, normal, Torghast, sanctum, KSM, clear, uh, Tazavesh, or SOD. So if it, if it contains um, any, of, any of these words here, plus, any of these, then it will filter stuff out. So if I wanted to be like, oh, you know, want to sell uh, Tazavesh uh, stuff, you know, and uh, boom, it's going to, uh, actually I spelled it wrong, WTF, ha ha ha. See, there we go. That's how you know it's not going to, it's not going to do uh, false positives. At least, at the very least, it's something that you set up yourself. And did this thing go up just now? Oh, well. But anyway, as I was prepping this guide, it turns out that some spam was in fact uh, leaking through. Um, was there anything here right now? Uh, there isn't anything uh, here at the moment, but there is, I'm um, sorry, there, there was um, a bit of spam that was uh, leaking through. I'll put it on screen uh, right over here. So let's take a look at some of the key words over here. I see the word deals, I see heroic, SOD, clear, and spots, I guess. Now, the idea here is, the game basically, is that we wanna make a filter that's going to scrub this sort of spam from our chat uh, without scrubbing too much. But it's also really similar to this previous filter here. So here's what we're gonna try. We're going to simply add deal and deals to this first part of the phrase, you know, this, this first part of the, uh, of the condition. And of course, I made a filter in advance for the purpose of this recording, haha. <laughs> and uh, let me get to it, try to get to it. See, see this thing with add-ons? There we go. And here it is. We now have the uh, deal and deals here. So if we were to take this original phrase and we, you know, we take in uh, certain parts of uh, of this quote, so let's, we'll just put in deals are great, <laughs> uh, SOD or something like that. It should be blocked, and there we go. And uh, just in case you're wondering, there's an options tab over here where you can tweak a few things here as well. Uh, although I just left everything as it is. Notice uh, on the right here, uh, the add-on will not filter out stuff coming from guild or group or, or group or party chat or raid chat, uh, nor will it filter out uh, whispers. Over here on the left side, the add-on does automatically update uh, the default spam filters, meaning that you shouldn't edit the ones that are uh, included in the add-on, like these right here, unless you uncheck that box. Um, and as for the global ignore list options, it's really self-explanatory. I've mostly left that alone. When you just ignore someone, the, this add-on will auto-ignore everyone on your list as you switch from one character to the next, and that's pretty much it. Um, 
It's definitely a bummer, though, that we feel like we need these sorts of add-ons to get rid of something that really ought to be Blizzard's job, but as you can see, it is also kind of a task, and, we're, and, and even for us, and we're just trying to not see it in front of our faces. It must really suck to be, uh, you know, in the Blizzard chair trying to find out ways to automate not just the filtering of chat, but enforcing penalties without punishing the wrong people. But anyway, I do hope that uh, this add-on helps you out. It is definitely keeping my chat clean. Uh, but if you have any questions or anything like that, please feel free to chime in in a comment below. Um, if you have any string ideas as well, uh, feel free to add those in as well. We're all here to help each other out. So um, don't forget to subscribe for more of this and all things Warcraft, and we'll see you next time. Until then, stay safe, stay healthy, and stay breezy. Mm -hmm.